Howdy, I'm Bob Terry, and welcome to another wonderful Western episode of the Cisco Kid and Poncho. And it's brought to you free here on the internet at westernsontheweb.com. We'll see you after the show. Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, a Cisco Kid. I like it here. The smell is so good and the singing of the birds is like music to my ears. It is like a green paradise in the middle of the desert. Why didn't we never come here before? Because, Pancho, this is the first time we have trailed Red Kelly. Oh, forget about him and just think of how nice it is to be alive. Let's stay that way, huh? <laughs> Cisco, never before have I seen a man so friendly with a bullet. Why don't you throw that one away, and I will give you plenty of bullets for you to play with. <laughs> this is a very special one, Pancho. If I can get Red Kelly to fire a shot, then I'll know if he's the one that has killed our good friend, the United States Marshal. Oh, so when he shoots us, then you will be happy, eh? You think so? <laughs> Shot won't miss. Do as he says, Pancho. Why did you shoot at us? If they shot at you, you wouldn't be talking now. Get their guns. What is this, Cisco? Is these good men who think we are bad or bad men who think we are good? We'll soon find out, Pancho. Come on, let's ride. Take a look, Mr. Wren. Either one your man? It will give me a great pleasure to be your man, miss. Hey, Cisco, I, I still don't know whether you are a good man or bad. No, Shelby, it was neither one of them. Well, don't you worry, Mr. Wren. The boys are out covering the whole valley. We'll find your horse thief. Give them back their guns. Oh, it's Cisco. After all, these are good men who thought we was bad, eh? <laughs> I'm sorry you were inconvenienced. Won't you have lunch with me? Eat? Oh, Pancho is hungry. <laughs> Thanks, miss. Did I hear you call that man Shelby? Yes. Could he be Al Shelby, the hold-up man? Yes. There's quite a price on his head. But I wouldn't try to collect it around here. Cisco, I don't get this. This hold-up man worrying about the horse stealers and keeping the pieces. Perhaps Miss Doran can tell us. Why, Mr. Shelby is a member of our very efficient police force. Oh, a crooked man gone straight, huh? When you were a little boy, did you ever play hide-and-go-seek? <laughs> Cisco and I do it all the time with the sheriff. But why are you talking about little boys' games for? It isn't a little boy's game when men like Al Shelby and Blackie Moran play it. I don't understand. Well, you see, this is their home base. 
they're free to come and go as they please. And while they're here, no one can tag them. The sheriff made a deal with them. They keep our little valley free of crime, and in return, he gives them immunity. You mean these men can do anything they want to outside of the valley, and then they can come back here and the sheriff affords them protection? It's just about that. Hey, don't tell us you are a bandido, too. Me? No, my father left me this ranch. That's why I'm still here. Well, Pancho, it seems that we came to the right town to find the man I'm looking for. Do you know Red Kelly? Good old Red. Oh, of course. He's the head of our social circle, the life of the party, whenever he is not a town on business. Pancho, I think we have to go to town on business. Then maybe Cisco will have Kelly shoot his pistolas at me. Then he will dig out the bullet and that will make him happy. But how can Pancho be happy if he's dead? Thank you for the information, miss, and for the lunch, too. Come on, Pancho, we're leaving now. But I don't finish my dinner yet. Come on, Pancho, I said. Oh, Cisco, I'll go someplace to get a nice home-cooked stew like that. You don't give me no time for my indigestion. I don't know why I can wait a little while. My stomach is to death. Goodbye, miss. Good luck. Just a minute, you two. Thought I recognized you. Cisco Kid and Pancho. So? What's your business here? Let's just say we're just passing through. Then see that you do. I'm surprised at you, Sheriff. From what I heard about your town, Pancho and I should be welcome here. I choose the men I want here. And I choose the town I want. Right, Pancho? Right, Cisco. Hey, Cisco is funny that way. But me, I'm a different proposition. I take it down or leave it. Then I suggest that you leave it before sundown. Hey, Pancho. See those men over there? That's Hal Wilton in Montana. Hold up, man. Uh oh. There is Dan Nolan, the cattle rustler. This town is full of them. That's Bert Foster, Pancho, one of Red's men. Red must be inside. Hey, Cisco, look at the first class beautiful horse, eh? Uh-huh. Robber's Roost. That's the right name for it, Pancho. Hello, Red. Hello, Cisco. Meet my pal, Al Shelby. Yes, I have met him before. But it gave me great displeasure to meet him again. Hey, so you think you are a better shooter than I are, eh? Pancho! Say, what's this all about? Mr. Shelby made a mistake. Pancho, mistakes are liable to happen to anyone. But mistakes like this can keep an undertaker very busy. These are the birds I told you about. You're the Cisco kid. And I thought you were horsey. Different people think I'm different things. You're wearing your hand pretty close to your gun, Cisco. That's because I have a lot of respect for you, Red. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people say you are a better shot than I am. It makes me self-conscious. Who say that, Cisco? Everybody knows you are the best shooter what are. Is that so? I always did have an eye on your horse, Diablo, Cisco. How do you like my bay horse? The one tied outside there? That's right. That's a pretty good bet, Red. Let's find a target. How about that sign on the wall? Shoot me fine, Red. We'll put a bullet in the letter O. Give you something to shoot at. It's like the best I can get is a tie. Let me have your gun, Al. Well, I guess this bet will never be settled, Cisco. Red, I'll shoot against you once more. But this time, use your own gun. Oh, no. I never use my gun for games, just for business. Get your hands up, both of you. Get Pancho's gun. Who do you think you're kidding, Cisco? I know what you're up to. 
I tried that trick once myself. Trick? Why, Red, you don't know what you're talking about. Ah, huh? don't give me that. You and Poncho are going to need an undertaker real quick. Thanks, Pancho. You're not only wanted for robbery, Red, but now I'm going to prove you're wanted for murder. Drop your guns, you two. Drop them, I said. Thanks, Sheriff. Sheriff, eh? Whose side are you on? I'm against anyone starting trouble. I'm sure you started this. I had plenty of reason to. Here, take a look at this. Besides saying that Red Kelly is wanted for robbery, that circular was taken from the hand of a marshal who was shot in the back, near Plainsville. And that says a lot more. Plainsville? Where is that? About three days' ride from here. Then it's no concern of mine. Plainsville is out of my jurisdiction. What kind of sheriff are you? Is this the way you enforce law and order? How can a man do Shut it? Shut up! Why, you... Leave him alone, Al. What are we going to do with him, Sheriff? Drive him out of the valley. It's a good idea. We'll go along with you. Take him out to the horses, Al. Get out of here. Sheriff, how about passing a law making it illegal for Cisco and Pancho to live? That's exactly what I have in mind. Well, then why don't we do it here? You're forgetting, Red. I've got to keep up appearances. There are quite a few decent folks in town, and it wouldn't look so good. Might even start a revolt. All right, we'll do it your way. We will return in just a moment with the climax of our exciting adventure of The Cisco Kid. What are you stopping for? My cinch is loose. Do you mind if I fix it? Go ahead, but don't get any fancy ideas. I've got to cut some leather. Have you got a knife? Maybe you want me to fix it for you. If you'd like to. This sheriff, he acts more like a bandido than a sheriff. Pancho, he is worse than an outlaw. Not only does he sell them protection, but I'm sure now he shares in their loot also. Uh, where we go now? We're going to go where the elites expect to look for us. Come on. Looks like they gave us a slip. Yeah, and I don't like it. 
With that Cisco kid on the loose, we're all able to fall off of that gravy wagon. Not me, Red. From now on, shoot on sight. I'm not letting the Cisco kid or anyone else spoil our business. Give the rest of the boys and comb the whole valley. I'm going back to the office. Okay, sir. Let's go. against the middle, he usually winds up with the whole thing wrapped around his neck. And good and tight, too. Puncher, take care of him. Uh, with pleasure. Get your big feet over to the cell. Handle it. Hey, don't look so unhappy because you're gonna have plenty companies. What are you doing there, Cisco? Fixing a little trap for Red Kelly and the other outlaws. Hey, Cisco, you mean you're making a trap from a piece of paper? Yes, Pancho. <laughs> this kind of trap I don't understand. Well, then I try to explain to you, Pancho. What would you do if you were one of these outlaws? and thought that the sheriff had double-crossed you. I do? <laughs> That's exactly what Shelby and the others are going to try to do when they see this wanted poster. Look, look what it says. Wanted for robbery and murder. Red Kelly. The immunity granted to this criminal has been withdrawn. Jim Turner, Sheriff, Twin Buttes County. There is a printer in town. We'll have him run a number of these and then we'll scatter them all over the country. <laughs> you know, this is the best trap I ever think about. Pancho, you are positively brilliant. <laughs> now look, go to Miss Doran's ranch and tell her to bring the United States Marshal from Durango. With pleasure. I go now, eh? Remember, fellas, the sheriff is my niece. I'll teach him to double-cross me. I still don't get it, Red. What made him switch all of a sudden? I don't know, and I don't care. He put up those wanted dodges, and that's enough for me. Hey, did you see anything yet? No. Cisco, did 
didn't come yet. Maybe they didn't swallow the fish. Don't be alone, Pancho. We keep watching the front. That was Pancho. It's a trap. We'll trap him and Cisco instead. Montana, you handle that. Go around the back. They spotted you, all right? Hey, Cisco Pancho don't got no brains at all. Hey, now we are the ones who are in a trap. You stay here. Pancho, lock this door. would like to know too. And here is the evidence that will hang red. Nice work, Cisco. Twin Buttes could use a man like you as sheriff, Cisco. Yeah, well, Cisco, you can't do that. What will your wife say? Your wife? Are you married? Oh, oh is he married? You should see his little kidlets. Pancho. <laughs> he got five of them, and they all look like Cisco. Got the same kind of face. <laughs> well, goodbye, Cisco. Well, goodbye, miss. Hey, Pancho. How many times I've told you not to tell lies? Why did you have to say a thing like this to her about me? Well, it's here because she, she had a wedding in her eye. Oh, Pancho. Oh, Cisco. <laughs> The Cisco Kid will be back in a moment. But first, an important message. Goodbye, amigos. See you soon! <laughs>
hope you enjoyed this episode of Cisco and Poncho, and I hope you'll come by and see us at Toy Gun Town. And also, I hope you'll spend some more time with us here on westernsontheweb.com. I'm Bob Terry. Have a great day, and we hope to see you again on down the trail.